Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's home that I'm going to tour with you guys, I've entitled um, Ivy League Days, and that is because the family that lives here is a very studious family. The parents both have, I'm going to just scroll while I'm talking, the, po the parents both have attended Ivy League universities. They've um, worked their way up um, as far as um, in degrees and now in their professional lives. And um, they have just um, put their children on a fast track um, to pretty much follow in their footsteps. And so <clears throat> thinking about college, Ivy League colleges and things like that, um, I wanted to kind of keep in with the Ivy theme. And so you can see this home has um, a good bit of ivy on um, the outside. I've just kind of added it here and there. Um, not too much, but just um, just like from this angle, just, just enough to really kind of give it that, um, that dimension and kind of go along with that um, ivy league theme that I have for this home. Um, I have used the gray siding with the black roofing but you can see this home does not have a garage. I've used these really clean, nice hedges to outline the property here, um, but it just has a simple driveway because you know not all homes do have covered garages or carports, and so I just want to kind of do something a little different. I done the hydrangea bushes there in the front. There's some azalea bushes here with some hedges, and. Um, so we will come on in. Um, as you enter the home, you come into a foyer area. And I've used the teal on the, the walls there. Um, I think that's really pretty. I don't use that a lot. Um, but I've used a red runner. Um, of course, the entry table has a, a nice lamp and a flower. There's a stained glass window there and a place to hang coats. And as you come through here, you come into the living room. It's a very nice sized living room. Very, very clean and very, um, I would say semi-formal. Um, but yet it is comfortable enough. It looks like you could definitely live in it. And um, so I've used those brown leather couches um, with that farmhouse rug. I thought that matched um, beautifully. And there's a just a table with some decorations. There's one of those bookshelves. Again, this family would be very, um, you know, studious. They, you know, love to read and research. And um, there's that ivy plant on that shelf. Um, so that's even more ivy in this home. There's a plant there in the corner. Lots of windows in this room. Um, a drink cart in the corner there for entertaining guests or friends. There's just a simple entertainment system there. It is an older unit. Um, you'll see I have tried to use some older items in this home. Um, and then there's a fireplace there and a plant in the corner. Um, and the, of course, the grandfather clock. Um, on either side of the fireplace, you can enter into the dining room. And this is one of my favorite dining rooms that I have done. I just absolutely love it. I don't know if it's because it's, you know, we've, it's, we're kind of moving, you know, into, we're, it's still summer, but we are moving into fall, and I just, I guess thinking about fall and cooler weather and the holidays, and I just really love this Thanksgiving table. Um, it is an older table, but it does pair well with the heritage chairs, I believe is what those are, and um, there's a buffet here with chairs on either side in case they need to extend the table to, um, you know, have more seating. There's a lamp, a wine rack, just a picture there, a simple picture on the wall. Um, I felt like the table and the fireplace really were the, the centerpieces of this room, and I didn't want to take away from that. Um, but again, I just I just love this, um, this dining room, and um, it just really makes me think about the holidays and, um, and gets me excited for the fall season. So through here is the kitchen, and I have used the green cabinetry. I have used the, as far as the flooring, is the Scandinavian, and I haven't used that in a while, and really had forgotten how pretty it was. Um, and it used to be one of my favorites, and so um, I added that in here. And then I've put the, 
the tile on this wall just because it was behind the stove and I thought that made sense. There's that rustic window with the black cage lighting, the rustic sink, and then there is a little small pantry. It's a three by one, but it's definitely plenty of room for this home. And then this wall just has, you know, it's lined up with um, the cabinets and um, things. Through here is the mud room. There um, is the washer and dryer. And then the freezer in that corner. Through that little door there is where the um, water heater is tucked. Out this door is just a small little grilling patio. Um, and there is just some fencing there, mainly for decoration and a little privacy. Um, not to really keep anything out, but um, I've used one of those older grills. And then out here is a soccer practice field and just an elm tree, some hydrangeas, wildflowers. But yeah, that's I just try to keep this simple, you know, back here. Back through this away, if you come through here, this was my idea of a pocket door. Uh, I needed the doorway to be three spaces wide just to not be wonky um, with the spacing. And um, I was doing French doors. We didn't have a three door wide um, frame for the French doors. So I just chose to do this. And I think maybe I think maybe Joy at Joy's Creative Finger has done this before. I know I've seen, you know, several people do this kind of thing, but um, to me that just um, seemed to work. <clears throat> so through here is the um, office for the parents. There's a computer with, I know that's a dresser, but I'm using it as a credenza in this, um, in this room. And there's just lighting, a plant. Of course, there's like the degrees on the wall there uh, that the parents are showcasing you know all their hard work of school some books back there um, place to hang their hats and things plant of course that beautiful um, new bookshelf that we got and um, when i used this particular wallpaper i realized how much it really brings out the red in that um, bookshelf it's really beautiful so that is the downstairs um, office. And then through this doorway is a small hallway and there's a chest there at the end with um, a lamp and things on it. There's some pictures hanging on the wall. This room uh, door here leads to the downstairs restroom and the toilet and things is kind of tucked back in there. I've used an older vanity with some towels and then, if I can get around here, the older tub. And if you come back through the hall, this last door will lead to the downstairs bedroom. And I've um, staged it for a girl. Um, and she would have either, you know, just graduated um, high school or isn't, you know, working on it. But I would think just graduated because... There's, you know, diploma and cap and gown and all her awards that she would have won. Maybe she was on a rowing team. Um, there's some more awards there on the wall. Some books on her dresser. Um, and then, of course, the bed, the nightstand. And that little pink flamingo lamp is so pretty lit up. Um, I've really been enjoying those new items. Um, and so... Of course, the computer desk and then those double doors there is just the closet. And I've just used a simple rack from the Chic Boutique. And so that is all of downstairs. We will come to the foyer and pop up. And you can immediately see that I have mezzanined it. Um, I've used a canvas artwork piece over the stairs. Um, and I've said before, the reason I mezzanine when I use these doors... I like a mezzanine foyer anyway. I think it's grand and beautiful um, and would love to have one in real life. Um, I, I think it's gorgeous, especially this um, arched doorway. But with this doorway, if you don't mezzanine, that arch window sits on the floor, on the second floor, and that absolutely drives me bananas. And I can't stand it. It doesn't look, it doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look normal. <laughs> and so... I just, I just mezzanine it so that um, it looks grand, you know, as it's supposed to be. Um, I did add a small balcony, however, so that they could come to the top of the stairs and they could look down the balcony to see who's at the door. 
there's a mirror and some plants there and I thought they was just really pretty next uh, against that teal wallpaper so when you come through this little doorway um, you come to another mezzanine area and you can see I'm mezzanine the living room um, now you don't have to do this I did just to make it a little bit more grander and more open and um, I just really like the way it turned out I didn't put a whole lot of artwork and things on the wall up here um, I tried to keep this home more of a minim minimalistic style home and so that's what I was working with but I did put a plant there in the corner and these double doors go into the master we'll look at that in a second through this archway uh, or doorway here is a long hallway and I just added one canvas artwork piece there on the wall this first door would lead to a nursery and I just chose this set because it is my favorite in the game I love that green of course green I've said several times it's my favorite color but that green with that salmon pink is just um, really really pretty to me and so that's just a really um, simple sweet little space for the baby and uh, of course those I didn't mean to hit that um, of course the double doors um, you know leads to the walk-in closet there so as we come back out um, this next door will lead to the upstairs bath and again I've stayed uniform with the um, bathroom items and they are all it's a you know full bath all three-piece bath and then as you come down the hallway this last door is um, a bedroom for either a preteen or a teen boy and of course he's got his awards there on the wall his Einstein poster his um, you know desk for studying doing schoolwork of course the bed and then the end table with more books and um, headphones I did add a guitar because this particular um, sim would be interested in music and then there's the triangular bookshelves there on the wall and then his um, his uh, place for his clothes and things and then I did put a little um, snack refrigerator because what teenager doesn't like to have their own personal uh, snack fridge so that is that room and we will come back down the hallway to this mezzanine um, living area and through the double doors here you come to the master and I've used the lake house bed and there are villa nightstands on either side and I've put some artwork on either side of the bed there's some books the farmhouse mirror course the teal dresser and the perfumes and things on top and then you can't have um, you know all those books without a really cozy place to read and so there's a lamp in the chair with the um, afghan and through this door is a walk-in closet and it also has the vanity in there um, there's some jewelry there in the corner but yeah that is the walk-in closet for the master and then through this door would be the master bath and I've used those single vanities I put one on either side of the cabinet and I kept the cabinet matching um, the ones in the kitchen and I don't know if we ever had any double um, vanities that match these I, I don't personally have them so that's why I did them that way and of course there's the makeup mirror in the center <clears throat> and I've added more cabinets on this wall so there's plenty of cabinets in this master bath and then I've just added some bathroom um, decor and then through this part of the bath is more like the wet bath so you would have the tub that's right underneath the window there and then you've got your shower and your toilet and I did use um, the older shower that matched these tubs and things and so that is definitely something like I tr like I said I tried to use some older items in this home so that if you are a new subscriber let me go on to furniture placement mode and we'll look while I talk but if you are a new subscriber and maybe you haven't unlocked a lot of the newer items and things that you see a lot of the youtubers using 
you can definitely build a very beautiful house with the older items. Um, so don't get discouraged and just use what you have and, you know, make it your own and it can be, you know, just as beautiful as, um, the ones that you see on, you know, your favorite YouTubers channels. Um, so here's the grid of the room spacing. And again, this is the second floor. And again, up here with the mezzanines, if you don't want to mezzanine the foyer, if you don't want to mezzanine the living room, you don't have to. You can probably fit another bedroom or two in that space or a large game room. Um, you know, there's just so much you can do with it. So we'll go down to the first floor. <clears throat> and I am going to try to work on a build that I'm I want to try to, you know, just use all older items, um, things that we would have gotten when we, you know, when you first get the game. That is something I want to work on um, for you guys. Now, back here, you can see in this backyard, there is so much grid space left. And I thought about doing a pool, but I had just done a house with a pool, and so I just wanted to do something a little bit different. But um, I know the quest, I think it's called the Inner Child's Quest, but the one that unlocks the tree house, it's coming back around. And um, this would be plenty of space for that big, because that tree house takes up several squares. Or, or you could add a pool, or you could add swing sets if you have like itty bitties or sandboxes or, you know, whatever. It's just so much room back there that you could do whatever, you know, you wanted to do. And so that is all of that so yeah that is the property you guys i hope you um, enjoyed this tour if you did give me a thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll have more sims free play videos coming up thanks guys